up, saints, body of Christ, wake up from your spiritual slumber. I want you to listen to me. Pastors, apostles, evangelists, deacons, leaders, disciples of Jesus Christ, wake up wherever you are. Listen. Yeah. is gone tomorrow is not promised you have only today to make things right my brothers and sisters wake up from shalom family this is your nabi prophet daniel straight out of portmore now welcome back viewers and subscriber to prophetic rush tv where we reach and reach soul seven i want to share this synopsis of a message viewers and subscriber that i saw on tiktok very powerful very profound very prophetic it is the same word that the lord gave me in january family that the church need to wake up and christian need to know where they are in god and whom they are viewers and subscriber i want you to watch this message to the end drop a comment and tell me what you think about this vlog shalom family keep on watching and be blessed up saints body of christ wake up from your spiritual slumber i want you to listen to me pastors apostles evangelists deacons leaders disciples of jesus christ wake up wherever you are listen yesterday is gone tomorrow is not promised you have only today to make things right my brothers and sisters wake up from your spiritual slumber we've been sleeping for quite some time and the lord is coming the king of kings is coming the alpha and the omega is at the door and many of us are not ready please wake up salvation is personal on that day when you stand in the presence of the lord you're not gonna stand with your pastor wake up and examine yourself and who you are in the lord get to know exactly whether you reflect the new creation that he spoke about wake up my brothers and sisters listen to this vision that the lord gave me it is so sad but it is so true the lord is saying the body of christ is spiritually dead the body of christ is spiritually sleeping the lord took me in a vision to usa and i was in this big mega church and i remember as i was entering this big mega church the spirit of the lord told me to go in the middle aisle i was walking down in the middle aisle and he asked me to look to my right and look to my right look to my left i look to my to my left and when i did i saw skeletons like skeletons everywhere many people there were skeletons and the pastor was in front teaching the word all moving around jolly engaging happy laughing People were laughing and they were engaging with him as well. You know how the pastor is teaching and giving examples and all these things. And people are so engaged in whatsoever he's teaching. But they were skeletons. And they were spiritually dead. And I remember the spirit of the Lord asked me, do you see them? I say yes. As they were skeletons seated, listening, speaking, talking. And he told me they were spiritually dead. Spiritually starving. You're in this church, but you're not fed the truth. You're in this church, but the truth that they feed you is a truth that mixed with deception, that mixed with lies. You're spiritually dying every day you go in that church and sit. You are the same person since you received salvation until today. You've never changed. You've walked with the Lord Jesus Christ for 10, 20 years, but you are the same person salvation is personal my brothers and sisters on that day when you stand in the presence of the lord is not gonna he's not going to judge you basing on your teachings he's not going to judge you basing on what your pastor your apostle your prophet told you he's going to judge you personally these are teachers that are put in place but you need to have discernment we are living in the last days you need to get in the presence of the lord and start seeking the face of god for yourself Time is ticking, my brothers and sisters. Time is ticking. Listen to this vision. I saw a man of God seated in front of church, forcing elects, elects, the very elects, to eat the food that was served by demons. The food that was served by demons, even children. And it's a few people that had discernment that could refuse the food that was served in that moment. And when they refused the food, in a few minutes, the door was opened. The Lord came through in church. He used the back door. The door was opened as he came in, just like a thief. His feet could not touch the floor. It could not touch the floor. 
And in that moment, a few people that re refused to eat the food that was being served, they're the only people that saw Jesus Christ. They're the only people that saw him and bowed down before him. And the rest that ate the food that was being served by the leaders, by the man of God, they could not see Christ. And those who saw him, they were raptured, caught up with him in the cloud. Because as he came in, his feet was not on the, on the floor. They were caught up with him and many were left behind. And I want you to listen to what the word of God says in 1 Timothy 4.1. It says in the last days, the spiritually clear, the spirit of God clearly states in the last days, many will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. And this is what is going on in the body of Christ. The Lord is asking you to examine yourself. Apostle Paul said, let us examine ourselves and see whether we are walking. We are holding on to the faith that we received. Check who you are. Are you really a new creation? Are you really walking in the will and the desire of God? Are you that Christian that you say you are? We are living in the last days. Salvation is personal, my brothers and sisters. It is personal. Your prophet is not going to go in the pit of hell for you. You're not going to tell God, you know, I wanted to follow you. I really wanted to listen and walk in your way. But I went to this church and they told me false teachings. That is your responsibility. You need to read the word by yourself, for yourself to learn, study, not actually reading, to study the word of God. Seek God. We are living in the last days. We are living in the last days. Wake up from your spiritual slumber. Wake up from your laziness. Wake up from procrastination. You see leaders, you see pastors and prophets who are false and you still go and sit in those places. You see that there has not been any transformation in your life, no change, but you're still seated there. You're still seated there because whatsoever they're saying is tickling to your ears. You're not spiritually grown. You're not spiritually getting connected with God in that place where you are. The word of God is calling us to wake up. The Lord is asking us to get up. We've been dozing, we've been sleeping, we've been slumbering. It is time for you to wake up if you're listening to me. Share this message with as many people as you can because the Lord is coming. The truth is that might be not coming tomorrow, might be not in the 10 years, but what about when your life is taken away from you? What about when your life is taken away from you? Are you ready to stand in front of him and give accountability for your life? Are you ready to stand in front of him? Are you sure?